Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Hey, hey, so today is not your typical workout diet video. This video is going to be completely different from the rest. So I haven't told you guys this before, but I've always wanted Botox and fillers for, and I've been thinking about it for like over five years now. And I finally got the courage to book a consultation to discuss it. So the things that I want to be, I want to be done are like these wrinkles. I want to get rid of these wrinkles on my forehead. I want to get rid of these wrinkles and as you can see there's like a random wrinkle in the middle of my nose bridge i want to get rid of that on top of that i've always been insecure about my nose i feel like it's flat and it's big so i want to shape my nose a bit a bit and maybe have a higher nose bridge the last thing i want to be done is my jawline. I want it to be slimmer, more B-shaped. That's about it. But yes, I booked a consultation and I'll tell them what my concerns are and then they're going to give me their advice and I'll let you guys know whether I'm going to go forth with it. If I am going to go forth with it, I'm going to do another video of the before and after. Well, it, it'll be in the same video, but I'm going to film the before and after and I'll let you guys know. So yes, wish me luck and we will see. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I hope everything turns out well. I wish everything turns out well. I'll let you know. Peace out. Just a quick update. I did my consultation at that place. Uh, the lady there was really nice, very knowledgeable. However, I feel that when I had questions or concerns and I emailed them, they don't email me back. I had to like continuously email email them to get an answer. So because of that, I felt re really like I can't really rely on them if I did have any like concerns or if anything happened so I decided to pass on that clinic and I did more research on other clinics did some more consultation I did about like three or four consultation and I decided on one clinic they had good reviews the person that did my consultation was very nice she always messaged me back like within half an hour to an hour even like at nighttime 11 p.m she seems very informative on top of that it's gonna be a doctor that does my injection so i feel that that's more reliable and more trustworthy and yeah she also gave me a complimentary aqua peel so we will see how that goes and just to let you know i'm not gonna do my whole face i'm just gonna do the lines here because when i got the quotes is like the lines here is gonna be like 1200 if i were to slim my jawline it's gonna 800 uh, Botox, another 600, another 600 here, and it just adds up. It gets really expensive, so your girl's not rich. So let's just start off with these lines here first and then see how that goes. I'll keep updating you, and yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I just got my fillers they injected in my cheek area to give me like a facelift as you can see it's red and it's starting to bruise a little bit I'm not gonna lie that process was kind of painful right now I feel like it's kind of a little bit numb it's still a little bit painful but I'm gonna put some ice pack on it to um, alleviate the swelling and the pain a little bit so yeah this is the result
So it's post-treatment. I just finished getting my fillers. Um, so this morning I had my breakfast and I drank lots of water before the, the filler treatment. When I got to the clinic, my consultant, she was very nice. She offered us water, sat us down, explained everything to us, uh, helped me fill up some forms. And then it came to the filler treatment. I got very experienced and knowledgeable Korean doctor. Even my consultant was raving about him because she got her fillers and Botox treatment from him too. Also her other clients. What else? During the treatment, he used two syringes, so one on each cheeks. And he, as you can see, he poked a couple of times throughout this area to give it a nice cheek lift. So what I wanted was to get rid of these lines. And then he said that he's not going to inject here directly because it'll just make it look puffy and unnatural. So he's going to inject the fillers in the cheek area to give it a nice lift. The treatment itself was not, actually it was painful. <laughs> not gonna lie, it was painful. But the results was good. It looked natural. Uh, the doctor was very friendly and he made me feel more relaxed. Like he had a soothing voice. On top of that, my consultant was there beside me just explaining things. And when she noticed that I was stressed or like nervous, she gave me like a stress ball to hold. The treatment itself lasted about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, after that, I put an ice pack on my face to slow down the swelling and bruising. And then I booked a second appointment, a follow-up appointment two weeks time from now. But overall, the doctor told me that it will look a lot better once the swelling, the bruising and the bleeding stops in a couple of days and like the filler sets in. So I'll update you guys in a couple of days and then we'll see how that turns out. All right, see you, bye. Oh, also, they also give me a post-treatment care card that I follow. Uh, so I'm gonna follow this card and yeah. Peace. Oh no.